tonight we're doing something a little bit different from our vaccine peer supporters and from our COVID champions, actually to celebrate what we've been doing. And the theme of tonight really is it takes a village to vaccinate a community. We're going to hear different stories from different people who've been involved as a vaccinator, as a, as a person vaccinated or somewhere else in that journey and celebrate what we've achieved. My husband never wanted to have um, the vaccination. And we had in December, we had to, we argued and argued and he told me bluntly that he was not going to have it. I had, I, I said to myself, okay, I'm a staff of NHS. I am going to use myself as a guinea pig. Okay. So I took the injection and he was actually looking to see if something is going to happen to me. So from then we gave, I gave him time and he was quite reassured with the knowledge that was given to us during the sessions, we were, we were able to pass so much information to people. I came into the champion through helping others in Newham. One of the discussion centered around somebody saying, now I am very worried. My questions have always been what happens to this mRNA after it has incited the immune system. So within the group, we discussed for about a week and people were eventually convinced that it's better to take the vaccine than to die of COVID. And the COVID champions came around and I thought, well, that's some way I can help the community because I really don't want to go to that many funerals. Um, and to a large extent, the work of the COVID champions did turn around the death rates in Newham and helped turn around the death rates, which is great. Unfortunately, I've lost six people I know now. Um, and during one of our COVID champions meetings, um, someone mentioned about the um, ways of helping with research through the NHS. So I, I signed up for that. And then as a result of that, I was invited to take part in a trial uh, for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Yeah, so basically my um, family are very arrogant, not in a rude way, but they just hated the vaccine. They were listening to WhatsApp chain messages and all these myths about the vaccine, how it makes it infertile. And I literally lost the plot because I was like, I'm here to support you, but I'm not happy with your choices. And so I wrote a letter, a very long and there letter. There it is. There is her letter. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, it's very heartfelt they cried about it because they didn't know how much it was impacting me the choices they were making because i was tired of being the one being the adult and telling them the truth about the vaccine like i created posters it didn't work so i decided you know what i'm good at writing letters i'm going to write them a letter and they work parents um they're in their late 60s uh, my mom's one of the youngest of her generation my dad's one of the oldest um but so their family members were all quite pro getting the vaccine you know and i think the nhs and everyone involved in the vaccine rollout has done such a great job of getting it where it needs to be getting the information out there and just getting everyone ready and things last year changed immensely um i went from working with places of worship and crime to fighting another battle something covid and it sort of brought about different challenges really how to keep places of worship safe, keep the community safe from the COVID virus, keep them secure and up to date with all the legislation. Before the training, a lot of people around us were skeptical about the vaccine. Some people were telling us they don't want to be used as guinea pigs, you know, even amongst the, the leadership, people didn't want to get the vaccine, but we had that training and that training was the turning point. After we had the training, most of the people in the church decided to go for the vaccine. So the day when I said I was going to have the vaccine, that, that very day, that was on the 16th of December, five other staff came with me. So they observed us to see if we have any side effect and there were no side effects. So by the 29th of um, December, we've had more than 30 staff who'd wanted to take the vaccine and they had the vaccine. So the, the, this, for this reason, the, the drive and the idea came that we should become a vaccination center. Uh, we've had people from all sorts of background coming up there and they feel so comfortable because it's, it's a local center with access from Neville Road, from Pleasure Road. People can walk in there, they feel very comfortable. It's a nice building and people are very friendly. We got excellent volunteers. What we believe in is Sarbatta Pala, which means betterment for all. And that's our code of conduct. 
and also ikonkar which means that we all one and oneness for everything so that that's what we believe i just wanted to say a few words because many great things have already been said vaccination is the single most important action we can do alongside hands face space uh, to get rid of this uh, horrible pandemic uh, with professor fenton present i just wanted to say a massive thank you uh, to our vaccination teams around the borough all our clinical and non-clinical vaccinators our champions and all the support staff for all the amazing efforts, comms, estates, the list is endless. And well done to our residents for uh, getting vaccinated in almost a hundred thousands now. So let me pause now and again say thank you. Thank you for your work, for your leadership, and thank you for being engaged because it's in that engagement and in that mobilization and in those actions that we're able to bring this pandemic to an end.